Uh, my name is Sylvia Villanueva, and I coach for uh, Jefferson United. My name is Carmen Garrosa, and I coach the University Park Girls Under 8. Hi, my name is uh, Rudy Moreno Jr. I uh, coach the uh, Woodlawn Park Dragons uh, Under 11. Okay, so my name is Randy Sanchez, and I am the general manager and co-founder of Jefferson United Football Club. Yeah, well, it's basically a youth development program that we designed. Uh, we looked at the market and saw that there wasn't really uh, an after-school program um, that focused on sports that you know was affordable, you know, soccer-based, um, you know, in the area. So we wanted to really develop it to, to help uh, you know families and, and kids, um, you know, develop leadership skills, social skills, have fun in a funny environment, positive environment. Uh, so really, we're just you know, thinking about you know all the kids from SCISD and. and we had them in mind when we started the program. So, and uh, they started out with I think we started out with uh, eight teams. Now we have up to 18 teams, boys and girls. And the ages are from six to eight, and then from nine to twelve. Uh, that's the age uh, bracket. Soccer is a growing sport, and um, when I grew up, I always wanted to play football. Uh, I didn't really, actually, I didn't. I didn't have the chance to play any like recreational sport like this when I was a kid. It's fun because um, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what we do, it's cheering on those babies that count the most. It's fun, it's absolutely fun. I think fun, give them an outlet, not just, you know, they're really in school. This is just a project where they can have fun and not have to worry about any pressures and it's just, they just get to have fun, interact with other people. We've had so much more participation from parents, uh, from businesses, from, from local owners, uh, small business owners, uh, volunteers, high school students, just all the way around. I think um, we were able to run our program, you know, fairly well in the beginning, and so it's paying dividends now. Uh, so things are, things are running really smoothly. Um, I guess what more we needed to help to start to start it was, uh, I think the the need in the area. Um, you know, if, if you look at the market. You, it's weird in America. Uh, it seems that you know the higher level you get in soccer, you know, if you want to compete or if you want to play competitively, the more expensive it gets. And so, uh, with us, our main focus and what we've been able to do is, is provide scholarships uh, to about 70% of our kids, so that they're only paying ten dollars for an entire season. And they get uniforms, they get you know refs, they get uh, you know all the canopies and, and benches and all the equipment and, and everything. You know. So I think uh, you know, part of the reason for starting it was to offer something to the kids in this area that they otherwise wouldn't have access to. When I first heard about this program, um, I heard that Randy was um, starting it up. Uh, he was being the general manager, and uh, I heard about it through uh, another fellow coach. Where, where I, we're all fellow classmates. We all graduated together. So I jumped at the chance to coach, you know, because ever since I started playing soccer, I've always wanted to be involved. Like, that I, I know the game very well. And I want the girls to learn to play the game, not only for fun, not only to win, but later on in life, they're going to play maybe for a high school, I mean for a junior high or a high school. And none of these girls know anything about soccer. And uh, as they play, they get better, and they get better. And that's why I like to do it. I want to say that it's the best thing since sliced bread, but you know, I, I can't make that you know assessment. I, I think I think it speaks for itself. I think the fact that we've grown, we've doubled in size in less than a year, uh, from 100 to over 250 kids. I think we went from 8 to 16 teams. We uh, we have principals' kids. We have uh, elected officials. Uh, we have you know, all sorts of people who want to join, and their kids. You know, we have a lot of kids who keep returning. So I think that's it. that really speaks more than, than I could, you know, for the success of the program. Um, Memories during the games when they do something really cool that I taught them in practice that I never thought would be effective in a game, like a pullback. It's something that we don't really see in small children, but I see it all the time during the games and it just makes me feel really cool that they're doing something that I taught them. And it's great. Um, there's a lot of enthusiasm. The parents are really supportive. Um, that there's so many kids that get to play together. It's really exciting to see how they've progressed from the beginning of the season until now. Work together at school, they kind of get the feel of other children, but here they have to work together. They have to be a team. They have to be supportive. Happy to be, you know, running it and, and 
I hope that it, it gets bigger and better and that you know we stick to the mission and, and that's about it. You have a really good uh, good program going on here and I'm very proud to be a part of it.